because evangelicals do welcome LGBT people into our churches. We welcome LGBT people in the same way we welcome anyone else as sinners in need of a saviour. Broken people who need healing and burdened and weary people who need to know Christ. There are no exceptions and no discrimination. All are called to repentance, faith and conversion to a new life. And in Christ we are a new creation. But Steve and his colleagues have a different perspective. They've changed the gospel. Christ did not come to convert, but to affirm. In this new religion, it's sinful to be told that your desires are sinful. The good news has been changed from you must be born again to God accepts you just as you are. No change is necessary. Steve Chalk was removed from the EA not because he welcomed LGBT people, but because he turned away from the teaching of Christ and taught a false gospel, which is no gospel at all. Now he holds a conference where those who disagree with his theology are threatened with prosecution. The Gardney article cites several of the conference attendees who directly equate not accepting Steve's sexual philosophy with abuse. So former evangelicals such as Steve Chalk and Jane Ozan are now threatening to use the force of the state to compel us to follow their doctrines. We're being pushed towards a point where the state, egged on by apostate clergy, are going to ask us to choose between following Christ and his word or following the philosophy of those who despise Christ's teaching. 